My guiding light has always been my mother. Her name is Eartha Flemings Carter. And when she found herself raising six kids all on her own, she decided she wasn't going to be another statistic. With the help of our community, mom enrolled at Xavier University and got a degree in speech pathology, often taking me and my siblings along with her to class. Through her determination, her grit, and her faith, our mother taught us that nothing was impossible. She taught us to be bold in our convictions, that in community, we give back where we can, and we always pay it forward to the next generation. My name is Troy Carter, and these lessons from my mother, they're the reason I got in public service to begin with. She taught me, if there's a barrier in front of you, break it down, and so I did. I became the first African American to serve my district as state representative, as New Orleans City Council member, and now as your state senator. And those lessons are the reason I'm running for Congress today. Throughout my career, I've remained laser focused on the simple ways to improve people's day-to-day -day lives, like fighting for a living wage, equal pay for women, criminal justice reform, and making public colleges and universities tuition free, addressing the alarming rate of mortality among black mothers and infants in Louisiana, which I've already started, advocating for LGBTQ rights by putting forward the first Employment Non-Discrimination Act, fighting for environmental justice, flood insurance, and added protection for folks hit hard by hurricanes, supporting economic development by investing in small businesses, and something special we did. We passed a bill to make sure women who have had mastectomies due to breast cancer are able to get reconstructive surgery and have it covered by their insurance. Because for me, it's never been about the issues that make the biggest headlines. It's about the issues that make the biggest difference in people's lives. We're living through very tough times. The pandemic has hit our community hard, but we must hold strong, work together, and have each other's backs. In Congress, I'll have your back and I'll get things done. I've lived in this community my entire life. This community rallied around my mom when she went back to school. This community served as a father to me when I didn't have one at home. This community is what I get up every day to fight for. And that's what I'll do in Congress. From New Orleans and Jefferson to St. Charles, St. John and St. James. From Ascension and Assumption to Iberville and East and West Baton Rouge. I'll be a voice for the people. I hope you'll join me.